Hello, everybody. Happy Monday morning. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Not exactly a breaking news story, but some good information uh, leaking out, and I shouldn't say leaking, uh, being given to us from The Bachelor producers. The first look promo, the first promo for the upcoming season of The Bachelorette, premiering July 11th, 2022, which is coming sooner Then later, before you know it, summer will be over, and that's one less summer we'll ever have, okay? And why do we even care? There's an asteroid, what, six times the size of uh, the Eiffel Tower hurling its way past Earth tonight? Cross your fingers, subscribe to the channel. But hey, if the world is ending, hey, come on, help me out. Join the Patreon. We could all use a little post-apocalyptic love here. And let's get into it. I'm going to share with you guys. This is a weird one already. <laughs> Sometimes I'm making a video and I, and, and I go, you know, something, there's the subconscious, the first 10 seconds into a video, my, my brain goes, do we start this one over or do we roll with it? We're rolling with it, baby. Let's get into it. It's Monday. Mail it in at work. You do that. We will as well. Smiley face. All right. First look promo. Let's get into it. Follow me on Instagram at Neils. I'm going live at 10 a.m. Pacific time here on Patreon. Uh, and then the public live stream today, 5 p.m. East Coast, 2 p.m. Pacific on the Dave Neal Show. You can check that out. We'll be discussing the Johnny Depp trial. Things are popping off over there. All right, let's get into it. So, um, be in Chicago Friday and Saturday, Lincoln Lodge at 7, and then a late night show on Saturday at 11 p.m. If you're in the Chicago area, we'll be there. I'm going to be doing an after party meet and greet type of deal after Lincoln Lodge. If, if, if there's only a couple of us, that's cool too. And then Zanies will do one beforehand at like 9 p.m. on Saturday. So, uh, uh, anyway, you'll get all the information from that. Go to my Instagram. But also, more importantly, I've got the Dave Neal community, which is a nice like 1,700 person community. And I just posted this rather dystopian message. Sounds dystopian to even make this post, but does anyone in our community need baby formula? Does anybody have any extra if somebody does need it? Comment below if so, location. So if anyone's in this, I mean, this real horrifying nightmare of a supply chain issue happening with... Um, with needing baby formula. Maybe we have enough people in our community to help each other out. I don't know. Even if it helps one person out, I think it's worth asking. So anyway, go to the Dave Neal uh, community on Facebook and we'll get into that. All right, let's start with the promo. Of course, it's um, our first full dual bachelorette season. We know Caitlin Bristow and whoever was on her season had one, but we know that didn't end well for whoever the other person was. Um, it, you know, not, I, you know, I'm sure in the comment section you could tell me, but off the top of my head, that was Caitlin's season. This is a joint season, and let's ha- watch the promo. I'm going to play it, but also probably talk over the audio because I can't tell if it's licensed music or not. So anyway, we've got two women in black high heels in rose printed dresses walking uh, to a cherry red sports car who's driving it we got the young one uh rachel Recchia says get in loser we're going shopping there although i wouldn't call them mean girls although who would if they if they were mean girls which one is the mean who's who here is gabby is uh, Rachel the mean one? I can't tell. After having watched their reaction to, and I'm not blaming anybody, but after watching their reaction to Clayton and getting dumped, Rachel to me seems like the one that will turn on somebody, which probably makes for her to be a really good friend, knowing like, you know, Gabby was like, you know, Gabby gave more grace to Clayton in my eyes. And maybe that's because she's a little bit older. She was like, ah, you messed it up. But like, I know you weren't, you know, whatever. But whereas Rachel was like, these tears aren't for you. You know what I mean? So we'll have to see how that energy uh, plays into the new season. We all, we know they only had a month or two turnover between being like scorned, which maybe that's not a, an appropriate word. Whether it's Whether it was right or wrong, scorned is probably how you would describe it, to being like mini dress roses, we're going shopping, you know, type of deal. Anyway, the other question is, will it be a distraction having their friendship there? Um, I, I don't think so. I think th- I think it'll be kind of nice to like not put all of their eggs in the dating basket. Hey, maybe it'll make them find the right guy. Just being able to talk to each other, swap notes, this and that. They're not as flying blind <clears throat> but we'll have to see how that all plays out. July 11th. Should we do a special like um, July 11th live stream? I really should get a bar or something so we could all watch it live. You know what I mean? Anyway, maybe I'll do that. So let's go back through some o- other promos. I'm going to share the the original right here. Trista from 2003. Uh, which by, I'll, I'll share that one at the end. But by the way, it's just shocking uh, how far... We've come on network TV uh, as far as like, I don't know if you would call it inclusivity or not being uh, as gratuitous maybe with 
the shower scenes. Although you still see that on The Bachelor. Have you guys noticed this? I feel like The Bachelor hasn't skimped on slow motion shower scenes of men, but we do not see this anymore on Bachelorette. Just like, you, you know, just like opening. Be- Although we did see it with Tasha, didn't we? Anyway, um, let's see what we have here for promos. Here's Michelle's, of course. So there she is. She got all the love there. Doing her thing with a nice saturated, uh, you know, dream sequence filter photos swishing and of course found her man nate still together looking pretty happy but um one of the better production qualities of a um promo look at the florals i mean now that i'm planning my wedding i understand how much flowers cost it's like can we get a company to do funerals and weddings so that the funeral can get a discount on the previous day's wedding so it's like do the wedding on saturday and then sunday funerals get all the wedding photo you know uh, flowers and if you need to spray paint a few black or something do it all right here we go here's katie's season promo myself. i know what i deserve i know what i deserve so of course she ends up with blake but then actually ends up with john hersey so there was a nice little switcher there she ends up with a night two guy um I liked this one, but a lot of people thought it was just very, um, like it wasn't high production quality. But for these promos, they shoot them in a green screen, you know, like a, you know, in like a, in a photography studio. It's not high quality. Um, like, you know, take, um, take this one, for example. They shot it in like a similar, you know, they wheel a, a, a truck, you know, where they wheel the car into some random studio and that's it. You know, it's nothing crazy. Um, although Michelle's was higher production quality. Here's our, here's ours. Here's Becca Kufrin. But I choose you every day from here on out. I choose you every day from here on out. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, psych. So there she is. Hello. How are you? Becca, so she was scorned. I mean, that that was probably the worst breakup. I mean, let me know. Was that the worst breakup we've ever seen on TV? So she's doing her thing. Now she's not engaged yet, but. <laughs> I'm an independent woman. So then she found her man, Thomas, after uh, several, uh, you know, things didn't work out. And then we have JoJo. Ben Higgins says, I love you. He stiffs her. I love someone else more. So, anyway. JoJo was probably the height of The Bachelor, right? Maybe, maybe Hannah Brown, JoJo. I'm talking like, this was peak ratings. Bachelorette, I should say. So, they always do the same thing. You know, they do the white screen photos. JoJo just got married. Congrats. So, hey, some, some, some are working out. Claire Crowley. So, there she is. I've been down this road, so you guys know I'm a big fan. Wait, oh, this is um. Uh, where where's this? Me- oh, hold on, sorry. Bachelor Fantake just took over my video. I'm sorry. I think I hear a Canadian man's voice. So anyway, there they are. She's doing her thing, Claire. They're running out of rose petals, you know. All right. Okay, there it is. We got it. Why are we still watching the final one? Let's go to the final one here, Trista, the original. Let's just let's just try to listen as much as we can to this one. This was shot as. And again, this was sort of premiered as some sort of, um, you know, football promo. Intense competition. Chris Harrison. The Bachelorette. Twenty-five guys trying to win the ultimate prize. She's hot. She's in charge, and she's ready to rock. She's hot. She's in charge, and she's ready to rock. The Bachelorette The Bachelorette on Wednesdays. This is an old one, folks. The Bachelorette on. She's hot. She's sizzling. She can vote. You know, so what year is this? You know what I mean? Anyway, that's where we're at, folks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Um, I'll be over on the Dave Neal Show this afternoon. You can catch the live streams there, plus all the other content. Don't forget to go to Dave Neal's community on Facebook and, of course, Instagram at D Neal's. I'll post a stand up clip later on today. We'll talk to you all in a little bit. We'll see you on July 11th, 2022. Days away. Bye, everyone.